the Brooks Hill Winery, the little winery up the hill. They are doing it. They have an exhibit here of wine slushies. And uh, can you share with us a little bit about your winery? I'm sorry, I'm Ryan. I'm Karen. My husband and I own the winery. We are located in Brooks, Kentucky. If you're, headed, if you're on I-65, you want to take exit 121. We're about two miles up the hill uh, on the right. We have a little small vineyard, two and a half acres of flags. Um, we have a 30-acre uh, place, but 20 of it's in the woods. Oh, wow. So we can't put grapes there. So hence, we are the little winery up the hill. Okay. Uh, we make a variety of about 15 to probably 20, about 20 varieties of wine. Um, we make all the wine at our place. We do everything one at a time. We have no automation. All the plants are planted one at a time. All the grapes are harvested one bunch at a time. Okay. All the uh, bottles, when we bottle, uh, they're bottled one bottle at a time, labeled, corked, and kept, put wow. in, bag, in the box one at a time. Okay. So we are really a small farm winery operation. Uh, we've been, we're 11 years old, and uh, we have quite a nice following for our wines and for our entertainment. We have entertainment on the uh, spring and through the fall um, on Saturday nights from 6 to 9. Uh, all kinds of music from old time rock and roll to wow. 60s music to uh, country to Elvis tribute artists. So people from out of town come visit you and I mean you're just south of Louisville you said? Yes we are. And they uh, stay in a hotel, they stop by and there, yeah, and there are hotels at the bottom of the hill. And you don't need to go to California to do all this wine tasting, no, right? we do not. We do wine tastings every day. At our, uh, we're open seven days a week, and we do wine tastings every day. So they don't have to go to California. And to do, you, do, you, do they have? They, uh, they, do you charge to do that, or is it just a little small thing? It's, a, it's, it's five dollars. They will taste any five of our wines. They keep a little souvenir glass. Wow. Yeah, and like I said, we have a, a nice sitting area. We have a pavilion. And during the summer, they can sit out there. They can walk through the vineyard. Really that sounds cool. fun. It's very good. Cool. All right. Well, we'll check it out and. Uh, and just south of Louisville, off at 65, the Brooks Hill, uh, Brooks Hill Winery. Winery. Yes. Thank you. Thank All you. right, and what do you have here? Is this some of your wines, or this is, is that... some of our wine? The, the labels are kind of wet now from being Yeah, I understand. Ice. But um, we have four of our dry wines we brought, and we have two of our semi-sweets, and then four okay. of our sweet wines. But we have a lot more wine than that. Wow. Uh, we do have right now. We're featuring our uh, Billy Summer wine. Wow. Uh, this was named for a puppy, Lily. She was a Labradoodle, 95 pounds, but she passed away about a year ago. And this is a mango-flavored wine that we only, we only bring it out in the summer. Okay. So uh, we make it, and then when it's gone, it's gone until the following summer. It's very popular. It's very delicious. I, it sounds mango and, yeah. and wine. I mean, uh, yeah. who doesn't and love mango? And that's our Lily on the label. So I know. What a beach. label there. Yeah. Uh, well, beautiful. You got, and you got all these dogs here. I mean, they're all lily. They're all oh, lily. they're all lily? Oh, my this, God. This label was, was, was uh, created by a, an artist that worked for us, Diana Colgate. Okay. And so um, she's done a lot of great things at our winery for us. So. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, you. we'll, we'll uh, here's their uh, our brochure. brochure. There's some pictures of it. And yeah. there's... It has the directions on it. Wow. It just lo looks like uh, California. It's very nice. Very pretty, pretty down here. Yeah.